Hey yo, welcome back everybody to Uncle Karius. We're over here just chilling in the jungle because we have to do a fishing quest here. But uh, I'm going to hit you guys with something right here. I know in the past when my YouTube wasn't, uh, didn't have ads because, you know, I wasn't partnered or verified for monetization. If you're still using ad block, please turn it off. It helped. That's all I got to say. But yeah, let's get to some fishing right now. Let's get to some fishing. We got to catch a jungle barracuda. Something like that. Hopefully that shouldn't be too. Oh, yeah, there you go. Anything else I can catch? You might as well catch some more. Might as well. Hey, come on, bro. I'm trying to fish. Oh my god, here comes another. Oh my god. I'm just trying to fish. Let a man fish. Bomb fish. Yes, my favorite. Alright, you know what? That's enough fishing for now. <laughs> I just keep getting fucking harassed. Alright, where is. There it is. Everything else, shove in there. Uh, let's go ahead and head to the fisherman. Fisher boy? Wouldn't it be fisher boy? Whatever. Fish quest. You know what I'm talking about already. Yeah, let's head over here. I think the next quest for the tracker NPC, it might be uh, Skeletron, I think. Pretty sure Skeletron and then like the Skeleton Bomber. Skeletal Bomber. I don't know what his name is. What did we get? Angler Pants? Okay, so we got the whole Angler set. Which is nice. We got Dryad Princess Bait. Bra Dryad Protection and Bait Form. Interesting. Let's see. Rock. Oh, shit. It's something else. It's completely different. So, check this out. If we go home. And we do a little bit of uh, reconning here. I didn't mention this in an episode, but we'll look at it 100% now. Just go like this. Uh, no, we can't reach it. We really can't reach that. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, we really can't reach that. Okay, hold up. I know how I, I know how I called it useless the other episode, but it's useful now, right? Only time it's gonna be useful because I don't use this mount at all. But yeah, I got a bunch of challenges from you guys. What the fuck? Okay, this is probably why couldn't reach it it was way higher than it was i thought it was gonna be so this is the island from calamity i think calamity is what adds this in does the rock spawn up here i think it does i'm not 100 percent sure we'll we'll see i guess in due time might as well get some crimtain while we're up here so you never know what i need crimtain for yeah this is really cool this is one of the things i like from calamity i don't really like the uh the addition, I don't know why I just tried to dodge those like drops of water. Those weren't lethal. <laughs> they just felt lethal, alright? I felt like I had to dodge them. But yeah, I don't fuck with the little shrines they have. Like, I don't know, there should be a certain way to generate those shrines. Obviously those shrines are for like revengeance, hard mode, or death mode. Whatever the other mode is they have. But I, I don't fuck with them because they seem too OP if you're not playing any of those modes. Even if you're playing extra mode, it seems too OP. So, I don't know if I should just sit up here and wait for him to spawn or what. Dude, my chair sunk all the way down. I really need a new chair. Probably going to buy DX Racer as soon as I can. Got to save up at least, like, you know, a couple K, though, before I buy DX Racer. Because uh, I've learned. I've learned from experience. All you youngins out there. We're still young, you know. Still innocent. Uh, save your money. Don't ever go broke. That's all I got to say. Make sure you have backup money. I've experienced it too many times now, and I don't want to experience it anymore. So there's Game Raiders life tips of the episode. Only going to be once every 1,000 episodes. Do you guys think I made 1,000 Terry episodes by now? I think I made at least 500. No way I didn't make at least 500. If each episode or each series has like 50 episodes at least, I at least have to have 500. No way I don't have 500. All right, we're gonna try this. I don't know how high this thing flies. Oh shit, we found an island. Okay, this thing's not too bad, man. I just never get a chance to use it. That's my problem. That's why That's why there's no love for the honeyed eyed, Google eyed, goggle eyed, Google eyes, where the fuck? Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, let go. <laughs> Fucking bitch bird. All right, hold up. I'm gonna use the soda on him. You about to get diabetes. Imagine dying to diabetes. Okay, that's kind of fucked up to say. R.I.P. everyone that died of diabetes. Imagine dying to soda. 
That's pretty much the same thing. Imagine not in the soda in Terraria. Magic soda. That's embarrassing. Does he not do the latching on attack? I like that attack. No, oh, hey! I just can't. I don't like it that much. So this is good that we're killing him because we get wings from him. And I did need wings. I really needed wings. Oh my god. They're not kidding about large wings. They're bigger than me. So, um, you guys ever hear the saying, you ever see a fish fly? I don't know if that's a saying. I, I just made that up. Sounds like it could be a saying. I'm about to make it a saying right now. Right now. So I had a really good idea. Or somebody, there's people listing ideas in uh, chat. I streamed on YouTube recently. And I really need to tell you guys right now. If you want to watch my streams, please follow me on Twitter. And please join my Discord. If you're one of the people that uses YouTube notifications for when I'm streaming. Like, you know how I post that video. YouTube is being kind of gimmicky with the videos like that. And they're uh, giving out guideline strikes to some people that post those. Even though mine were following the rules, you never know how YouTube is. Uh, so just to be on the safe side, I'm not going to be posting YouTube videos about when I'm streaming anymore. Or at least they'll be really weird and they won't exactly announce that I'm streaming. Maybe I'll just, I'll be talking about something. But hey, I'm streaming. And that's all I say. Because you got to be careful now. They got weird rules on that and they're just being enforced recently. And it's really stupid in my opinion. All the Terraria boys, we all talked about it on Twitter. But uh, yeah, if you want to watch my stuff, just stay on the lookout. Stay on the lookout on my Twitter and Discord. I always tell on my Twitter and Discord when I'm streaming. I'm going to try and stream more on YouTube, but I have a lot of like people who are subbed there on Twitch and I don't want to just leave them hanging. You know, mods on Twitch and stuff like that. I don't want to leave them hanging. What was I talking about before that? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on. After I completely forgot that subject. Skeletron has to be next. Easily. Skeletron has to be next. So I think we're going to take on the one shot this episode. Snow beacon. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Let's see how this, how this is crafted. Ooh, I don't know what the hell that is. So to find moon dust, I looked it up. I really wish the wiki was a little bit more completed. I don't know, it's hard work to make. Uh, it's not that hard, actually. If somebody gave me money, I could probably knock out a wiki in like a day. But uh, to find what we're looking for, I really need to get rid of this lizard in a bottle. We don't really need it anymore. There's a biome called the Stranded Ship Biome. And that's where the enemy spawns that drops the moon dust. Stranded Ship Biome. And they say it spawns in the snow biome. Now, I don't know... If they mean it spawns in the snow biome, like a chance it spawns in the snow biome, or if it spawn, it does it spawn above ground? I don't know. Like I said, there isn't much information for me to go off of. I guess I will jump cut until I find something. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna have to generate a new world. We're just gonna have to see, I guess. So give me a little bit. It's gonna be like a split second for you guys. Give me a little bit IRL, and I'll be right back and try and find this thing. All right, I found something. I found something. Look, 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 what is this? Spooky. Whoa. This is crazy. Damn, this thing's huge, dude. What the heck? All right, this is good. This is good. I like this. Why am I saying this is good? I like this. Split mod, in my opinion, headless pirate. Split mod is way better than anti airs. Anti -ars. I don't know how the hell it's pronounced. It's way better, though. That's just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. Or don't take it at all. Please don't take it. I need it. I don't take it. So we're looking for an enemy called the Witness. What the fuck? Can be unfrozen by a special tool. Okay, interesting. We got this right here. A little snowball launcher. Let me see something here. Not how it works Whew. how great right should i even take it i'm gonna leave it for now do you think i could slowly kill this thing no i cannot okay don't worry about it then that looks like a safe am i the only one that thinks that looks like a safe is this used for anything frostbite wood Ooh, cool furniture i might have an idea to do that furniture oh i remember what i was talking about uh somebody suggested during the live stream people were suggesting a bunch of stuff about building in the live stream 
uh, the Uncle Karius live stream I did not too long ago. And what is that? Oh, it's just Cosmic Elemental. And somebody came up, they were just suggesting where I should build, you know, other structures. Somebody said a submarine in the abyss, which is really cool. A really cool idea. And then in my head already, I was going to make a, um, I want these paintings. I was going to make a bigger boat in the just regular ocean. And my idea that I came up with was to, you know, fluck not fluctuate, switch between all of them. When I say switch between all of them, can we stop dashing into that? Whoa, that's a witness right there. That's the enemy we need. Nice. I was gonna have a teleporter, so like the submarine that can be like our no the boat. Let's start with the boat. The boat could be like our storage area, and the uh, I got hit by that really. And the submarine can be our crafting area. You know what I'm saying? So we like switch in between them. That would be pretty damn awesome. That would be pretty awesome. So I might we're gonna keep that idea in our mind. All right, keep it in our mind. This is really cool though. I like this. Shout out the split mod. It's got some cool stuff. Oh my god, we're gonna drown so fast. Do I have it? I do have it. Hold on. Let me see some here. Our right, are so full. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the dynamite. Flurry boots. We don't really need them. Let's find. Where is it? There it is. The fuck was that noise? <laughs> oh, is this guy? Oh shit! Wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. Stab him. Come here. Come here, boy. Dude, that bubble shit's kind of hard to dodge. What about this enemy? This anything enemy drop anything? They explode right after. I'm tired of dashing into those enemies. How much moon dust was it? Ten? We're probably gonna need a lot more than ten. Ooh, you dropped glass. Oh, it's kinda useless. Um probably gonna need more than ten, because I'm assuming it crafts other stuff. Yeah, it does. I don't know. Do we consider this a water enemy? You guys tell me. Cause this enemy does seem a little bit water themed. I don't know, snow themed, I guess. But he like explodes in the water. Moon rock increase all stats by moonlight decrease by daylight. Ooh, decrease. That's where you lost me right there. You had me at the increase, but you said decrease. You know what I'm saying? What is this? Looks like furniture. Uh, furniture made from frostbite wood. Iron crates are always good. What is that? Knife rack. Okay, interesting. I'm just gonna throw those away. Child of the corn. That's literally a piece of corn. Ah, I get it. It's the fucking evil corn boss from Tremor. What a nice little throwback to such a scary mod. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and farm, I guess. To hopefully get enough to fight it, maybe once or twice. I don't know, it's named the one shot, so I probably wanna get enough to fight it twice. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Alright, we are back at our beautiful, humble abode. Humble, I don't really know if I'd ever use that to explain my home, but you know. Uh, I used it right there. Don't make fun of it. A home can be humble. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> let's break this. I, I, let's just place these here for now. If I fucking can. What the heck? There's no damn room anywhere. Uh, let's try to put it right here. <laughs> I don't know. Just keep it there for now. Ooh, we got the ginger beard. Do y'all know what that means? We get t That's a gnome. We'll be getting some gnomes later. Plain and simple. All right, peep this. Let me... Let's do this real quick. Put this in here. Uh, I got a Viking helmet too, which is always cool. But yeah, we got these things right here. Now, peep this. That item I looked at for a split second. Fiery salts. Look what it does. It allows you to unfreeze different things. Look at the recipe. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, let me get some of those. 15 should be more than enough to unfreeze those things. I got paintings right here too. You know, might as well place these so I remember to use them for something. Just place them for now. Uh, and let's make this. I think we just straight up make it. Let me look at this. Actually, that didn't, that doesn't matter. Moon dust. Snow beacon. Some's the one shot. Okay, sweet. So I don't even know if we can make it straight up. We, I think we need something. I don't know. I didn't list the crafting table. Beacon. That's not how you spell beacon. 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 What do I need? I don't know what we need. Maybe we... I, I have no clue. Alright, we're back down here. It said that we can actually unfreeze an enemy. And potentially unfreeze one of these things and potentially fight the boss. So I, I don't know. I guess we're going to try it. You just throw it. 
I don't know why I made that sound effect. The one shot has awoken question mark. That's him? Oh fuck that is him. That boy pulling out the gat. Yo, hey. Okay, time out. I didn't I didn't expect how this was gonna go down. I didn't think that was him, dude. Hey, you wanna talk about one shot? It ain't really one shot. Let's call it like a 30 shot. You about to get 30 shot, my boy. Okay, hold up. We gotta get rid of that guy. Oh my god, those bubbles hurt, man. Oh my god, this is scary. Do got that like fucking one of those games at the arcade. One where you gotta shoot stuff. He had that type of effect going on right there. This boy's getting his shit tossed though. See if I can get close, get some of these close attacks. Boy, if you think you can I'm frozen. Okay, he died. Thank God. <laughs> Where'd you go? He coming back for round two. Ow. We're coming back for round two. Alright, we're doing it this way. We doing it this way. Oh, he fucking silenced me. Alright, now never mind. Do soda. Hit him with the soda. It's magic. This soda don't play around. This dude got guns, a jetpack. Oh, I didn't mean to run into him like that. That has to be it. Good. Dude, split mod ain't playing around. Y'all better watch this split mod. This mod on the come up. I like this mod. I fucks with it. It's fun, dude. The boss, everything about it is so fun so far. Minus the wiki, but we will ignore that. Oh. Hello, librarian. Who who are you and why are we underground? I don't know. Chanted arrow. Right click with a bow to release the magic arrow. Whoa. Increase defense by 12. Reduces all damage. That's, uh, you can hold on to that. So there's like two other things we can unfreeze down here. Just like how the NPCs are like moving in. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. We got a life stone. Equipable. Summons a snow elf. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting to say the least, but I got uh, more important summons to have here. I think that's it. I think we found all three frozen things down here. I want to fly up there, but I don't know if I can. Oh, we can. We made that. We made that. Let's just make sure there's no other frozen things. Okay. Yeah, looks pretty good. Down here? Any frozen things down here? Let's see. A little dark down here. I don't think there's anything frozen. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. Well, there you go. There was the one shot. That was a pretty fun boss fight. May not, may have not been dangerous boss fight, but it was fun. Shout out the creators split mob, man. You, you're doing work. I'm gonna ignore anything you had to do with Tremor. You're doing work with the split mod, all right? Shouts, shouts out to you. I don't, I still have no clue how to craft the boss thing regularly. Did it tell us how? I don't know if it told us how. Defrost mysterious figure in prison in a frozen underground ship or use a snow beacon. Yeah, no clue. No clue at all. Because it just says required objects and then nothing shows up. Maybe, no, we have an ice machine. Beacon. Uh, well, it doesn't help that we're not in the right thing. Yeah, look, the beach ball is what comes up. Let me type in split. Jesus Christ, I can't type. That's ass. Don't want that. I don't really care about anything else. All right. So what do you drop? Dropped an amplifier can be placed. Does that do anything? Let's turn these off. No, it doesn't seem like it does anything. Let me right click it. No, it's, okay. So it's just, just a nice decoration. Nice. I mean, it goes pretty good with my ship. Wish it was a little bit more blue. We got <laughs> Uncle Carius is the hairpin. So, of course, you be using hairpins. Well, he does got a lot of hair. My health drops to 50%, creates two energy spheres around you, which are connected by electrical discharge. I mean, no reason not to try it out. I actually might use it, honestly. You could probably find a use for it. Because I don't need a double jump anymore. I can fly. So, like, might as well, right? Might as well. Let me try something here. More strange brew. It seems like the bosses always drop strange brew. Which is fine with me. But let me try something here. Do you do enough damage? I'm accidentally lighting you on fire. I'm very sorry. Okay, it might be easier to do this. Just drown ourselves. So I'm going to drown myself. And I'll uh, cut to when the spheres are popping off, I guess. Alright, it should be coming up. Okay, interesting. Okay, no, no we're not really going to drown anymore, are we? That's pretty cool. 
but I don't know, man. How often do I drop below 50 health in like any boss fight situation? Not that often. It's usually I'm usually prepared to take on bosses. So I don't know. It's one of those gray area accessories, and there's a lot of accessories like that throughout a bunch of mods. Why does Bodega look so weird? I'm assuming I don't know. It's still on me for some reason. Caught in honey. Oh, speak about catching things in honey. I do really need to go and catch things in honey. So we can get some better potions. I'm gonna go do that right now. I think that's what we'll do to end off this episode. Have a little montage of me catching stuff. But before we do that, I really want to make something from battle rods, dude. I really want to. But what can we make? The crate? We can make the crate calling hook. It's not terrible. We have everything else. Fuck it. Let's do it. Crate calling hook it is. So we get 20 extra 25 max health. But yeah, we need to go do some fishing because I do want some better potions because we might have some tougher bosses coming up. And it might be good to even attempt to try and get the uh, the 150 health pots because those just spawn from gold crates, I believe. And you can actually get gold crates or not actually get gold crates. You can actually get 150 health po pots in a uh, pre hard one. At least from what I remember, unless they patched it or changed it. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure you still can. So we're going to try our best to do some crate fishing. Hopefully, you know, by using the uh, crate calling hook, 5% chance for an enemy to drop a crate on kill. Depends on the rod use. Interesting. But uh, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. In the meantime, it kind of like forces me to use this. In the meantime, though. There's a lot of water here. Uh, I'm going to attempt to... Yo, that kind of looks like something. Uh, two balls and then the... Ooh. <laughs> All right, so we're back from our beautiful fishing adventure. I'm very annoyed I can't right click the Omni lure to switch him. I can do it like that, but look, what the heck is that? We got a lot of these things. <laughs> I don't know what these are. What the fuck? Is that what that is? Do these things hold? Yo, we, we about to have a B gun legitimately. What the heck? It only does six damage though, it's kind of sad. Uh, we have a bunch of odd crates, but really what we were looking for was the honey fin. Is this used for anything? Decoration, sunken stew, of course the aquarium. Nah, no, that's about it. Oh, you can turn regular fish. Ooh, interesting. We're going to use honey fins over... Oh, fuck, I just used one on accident. We're going to use hun honey fish over the um, regular potions, obviously. Because they're better. Plain and simple. Let me make sure I keep at least one of those. So that's what I'm keeping. We got these right here. Burn off the honey on the furnace. So what these do, they make stars. Plain and simple. We got sweet gloves. Is that a fish? Can y'all tell? Yeah, that's a fish. Just gonna need to take a better look. Uh, consumable. Three minute duration. They give you seafood buff. And it's also for sweet, sweet glove. So longer duration. Nice. Interesting. I like this. Man, I feel so. I, I really like this fishing play through so far. It's, so, it's a different experience. I think I talked about this either during a live stream or the previous episode. I talked about how it's always nice feeling like a new experience. And that's why I love playing new classes. Because a new experience is always a beautiful and fun thing. Betsy, what's you Betsy's curse? Curse of the dragon? Betsy. You gave me some stuff that Betsy has. Why do I have cobweb? Interesting. Very 
interesting put the fishing potions here let's go ahead let's fight uh some odd crates real quick real quick i'm about to pull up on you with the did i make this already okay so that's the fish finder so we're gonna just we'll sell it in a second let's fight all of them but yeah uh i don't remember what i was gonna say hopefully we're not supposed to get that betsy thing later on and hopefully hopefully like we're actually supposed to get it right now or we it's a possibility for us to get it right now i have a feeling those odd crates might be bugged a little bit i have a feeling like maybe they're not supposed to be dropping that good of loot early game maybe some in the coding i don't know no clue like i would have it so it at least drops the fishing stuff speak about fishing stuff we need that we can make the super accessory now or not the super accessory the bag so that's nice but yeah i feel like they should have made it at least the fishing stuff you can get early game but maybe not the like mimic stuff i feel like that might be too strong like a magic dagger like i mean i'll keep it actually i'll hold on to it might as well because we got it through fishing so might as well let's head back home though and uh let's make this angler bag oh fuck i didn't sell all this stuff let me do that real quick let me do that there you go how much do i get a gold per damn that's a good way to farm gold that's a good ass way to farm gold let me reforge it too i do want to use it <laughs> i actually do oh my god yo this is about to be crazy this is about to be crazy let me get the hive pack on my back instead of this oh that's kind of sad i'm already getting rid of it no instead of that we'll get rid of that now now peep it Oh, it doesn't affect it, dude. Why does the hive pack never affect anything? It's upsetting. <laughs> so much potential with the hive pack, and it never affects it. I'm upset by that. I'm very upset that that's a thing, man. It always happens. There's always cool accessories or cool weapons with bees, and I try to, like, combine them all together. And it never works. It's upsetting. But, yeah. We're going to end off this episode here. I'm going to do some organizing and stuff. Actually, let's make that angler... What is it called? Angler Tackle Bag? Jesus Christ, it's really loud because these dudes are like spawning nonstop. Damn, warding? Fish I'll never break, decrease chance of bait consumption. <laughs> get rid of it, whatever. Get rid of the molten scale. I don't care. I don't care. But yeah, I'm going to end off this episode here. I love you guys. Uh, don't forget, follow my Twitter. And also, if you don't want to follow my Twitter, just at least join my Discord and turn on notifications. Because I will always tell you guys when I'm streaming on there. Love you. Shout out to my Patreons. I love you guys too.